Hey guys, hey beautiful souls, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another reading. This is going to be a general collective message for the beautiful, talented, beautiful, sophisticated, charming, witty <laughs> Virgo. If you're new to my channel, Virgos, I would like to formally welcome you to my channel. I am a part of the Virgo Nation, Virgo Nation here. So yes, guys, remember all these readings are going to be general Virgo. Don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit, you must quit. It's not your story. Some of you guys are connected to some Capricorns. I'm hearing Aqu Aquarius as well. But yeah, particularly there's a Virgo that's connected to a Capricorn born January the 15th. There is also a Capricorn cross watcher or, and also an Aries cross watcher watching for the beautiful Zodiac sign of Virgo. Remember, take these messages as general. Okay, Virgo? Yes, Archangel Megatron, he's with us. Archangel Michael, he's with us. Also, your spiritual team is with you, Virgo. Pay attention. This 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 winter, this harvest season, it's been very, very, very critical in the collective here. There have been spirit guides that have been added to you, Virgo. Pray and ask God to reveal it to you. But I feel like there's going to be some spiritual, spiritual ancestors, okay, that are going to be making themselves more known to you. Virgo, Archangel Michael, can I get some messages? Okay, we got discipline and service. Yes, I'm definitely picking up on a security officer. Okay, somebody in the security field, Virgo. But I'm also, <laughs> this same thing happened in the Aquarius reading. Virgos are here to serve humanity. Virgo rules the sixth house. The sixth house deals with health, work, nutrition, but also service to others as well. Virgos are very disciplined. Okay, very self-motivated, self-starting individuals, very mature, very serious type of people. Virgos are not the type of people that are not going to be productive. 90% of Virgos are extremely productive. If they're not doing something, Virgo is not happy. That doesn't mean that Virgo has to be running the streets to be happy. No, Virgo has to be productive. Okay, contributing to society because that's part of their mission here. Okay, yes, there's a very serious, service-oriented, disciplined Virgo watching the reading. Okay. Yes, some of you guys need to balance out your work and home, okay? Work and personal life here. A lot of Virgos may give a lot, okay? Maybe maybe a lot more than they need to to their work, okay? Your family may be suffering, Virgo. And some of you guys may be more family-oriented and, and less career-oriented at this time. There's a balance that needs to be had, okay? There's also a need to release control. Surrender that, Okay? Yes, let your hair down, Virgo. Have fun. Go silly. Get wild. Get crazy sometimes. That doesn't mean you have to do illegal things, okay? You just have fun sometimes. I'm definitely picking up on a very strict, no-nonsense type of Virgo that has a, a will, an iron will made out of stone, but also a control issue that is very, very hard to break here, okay? Let your hair down. Have some fun, Virgo. It's okay, babe. Bees, okay? We got adversity. Yes. You may be going through some adversities at this time, Virgo. Hey, trouble don't last always. Yep, I'm definitely picking up on the Virgo that's in the legal field. You may be someone that helps people out of adversities, okay? You may be someone that take legal cases pro bono. You may be, um, you know, someone that helps people out, okay? You stand up for the underdog, Virgo. You stand up for the people that are getting bullied. You stand up for the people that don't have a voice. You can't stand to watch someone get picked on. That irritates the hell out of you. You stand up for that person, okay? You're not someone that's scared to stand in the center stage, but at the same time, Virgo, you're not someone that goes to look for trouble here, okay? But you know how to stand up, okay? You may be someone that helps people in, in times of their adversities, okay? And sometimes, Virgo, you may be tried and, and, and tested because you need to be able to be proven worthy because you've got to be able to help people. So you may go through some things, Virgo. And the only reason why you go through it is so you can help somebody else out when they go through it, okay? That's part of your service mission to humanity. I know it sounds strange, but it's true. You go through things for a purpose because there's going to be someone else that's going to need your assistance here. I'm definitely picking up on a very strict-ass Virgo that do not play. Okay, Archangel Michael, can I get more messages for the beautiful, talented Virgo? Look, we got a very powerful-ass Virgo here. Okay, we got a shaman coming out for the Virgo reading here. Yeah, Virgo is like, okay, yeah, I'm nice, I'm quiet, I'm disciplined. I'm here to serve humanity, but I'm also a badass that has a lot of spiritual gifts and talents, talents okay, and a lot of capabilities here. Okay, Virgo, we got a shaman coming out here. Woo, some of you guys have a lot of Scorpio in your chart. 
Woof, I'm hearing you're a natural healer too. Look, there's a familiar guardian. Sagittarius got the same card. Look, you are that familiar guardian for people, Virgo. You stand up for the underdog. You stand up for people that are less fortunate. You help those that are suffering. Okay, you're like that ace in the hole. You're like that secret friend that other people can rely upon. Okay, you may be that type of friend that may not see your friends a lot, Virgo, but you always stand up for them and you're always there for them. And you're always protective of them. Look, Virgo, we got banishment. Look at you, you're strong. We got a shaman here. We got a Virgo here that knows how to stand the hell up and they know how to stand their ground, okay? You have the capabilities and the powers here, Virgo, to put people in their place here. Virgo says, get the hell on. You better get the hell on because you guess what? You don't want them to bring out their spiritual gifts and talents. Or you don't want Virgo to bring out that ferocious temper. Okay? These are some beautiful messages for the virgin. Okay? I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Love and Marriage. That may have been your favorite TV show growing up. Okay? Go together like a horse in carriage. What's, what's the name of that show, guys? This I tell you, brother, you can't have one without the other. Okay? I don't know why. I'm picking up on, um, what is his name? Al Bundy and Peggy. Okay? I'm picking up on that show here, Virgo. That may have been a show that you love to watch. Okay, you may be one of the actors that played on the show watching the reading. Okay, we got Soothe. Yes. Virgo knows, Virgo knows how to put that healing touch. Okay? Some of you Virgos have the gift of healing in your hands. Yes. You know how to give a nice healing touch to the people that matter. You may simply just walk up to someone that's having a rough day or you see someone getting bullied and picked on. You just put your hand on their shoulder and they're going to feel better, Virgo. They're going to feel protected and they're going to feel safe. Okay, because Virgo knows how to stand on the front line. They're natural born leaders and protectors. I speak about it often. Okay, if you pick on Virgo's family or their lover or their partner because you think Virgo is quiet, think again. Virgo, Virgo knows how to stand up. Okay, Archangel Michael, can I get more messages? Can I get more messages for the beautiful zodiac sign of the Virgin? What else is going on with the Virgin? I'm picking up on Pisces energy with Erica Badu. She may be your favorite singer, okay? I love Erica Badu. She's a Pisces, you know? Pisces and Virgos are opposites. We got the journey. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like someone may need your assistance. You may be someone that works in some sort of field that protects and helps other people. Perhaps you are a, a drug counselor or an AA counselor, okay? You come to the defense of the homeless. You come to the defense and rescue stray animals, okay? You protect those that are less fortunate and or needy. Okay, you stand up for the less fortunate or the weaker ones, okay? I see that here. You see somebody that's, you know, you see somebody that's dirty or, you know, withdrawn or, you know, you're not afraid to, to offer them water. You're not afraid to offer them a plate of food, Virgo, okay? Virgos are here to serve humanity for sure, okay? Wow, can I get more messages? There's a cloak of wisdom over you, Virgo. There's a cloak of wisdom over you. We got corn. You may love corn, Virgo. Yeah, you may have grew up in, a, I'm hearing the word, Nebraska. You grew up in a cornfield. You ran in a cornfield. You played a lot in the cornfields growing up. Halloween may have been your favorite time of the year growing up. Hell, it may be your favorite time of the year now. You are a luminous warrior here, Virgo. It doesn't get any better. You come from a long line of warriors, okay? Kings, queens, fighting warriors, Virgo. Wow, we got two luminous warriors coming out for the beautiful zodiac sign of Virgo today. Yes, I'm hearing your roots run deep, Virgo. Your roots run deep. Go see where the moon is in your chart. You may have a Scorpio moon. You may have a Pisces moon. And I also see an eagle here. I see the eagle and I see an owl. And I also see a crow, Virgo. Wow. Yes, with the shaman and the seer, I feel like you have... <laughs> You have the abilities to shape shift, Virgo. You have the you have the abilities to be seen but not be seen. Okay, these are some of your talents. These are some of your gifts that you have, and you're certainly being called to use your gifts and talents wisely, Virgo. But people underestimate you too, as well. This is an advantage to you because that's when you get to shine and show your gifts. And you also have this powerful spiritual team backing you, Virgo. Archangel Michael, oh, did you see those cards fly out, Virgo? Wow, okay. When I get that feeling, I need sexual healing. Okay, some of you Virgos need just you just need to get you some Virgo. We got the crown chakra. Wow, crown chakra located at the top of your head, Virgo. 
prosperity begins. Some of you guys need to get some. There's a telepathic communication that you have going on with someone. Someone may be sending you telepathic messages, sexual messages through the wavelengths. Okay, you know how they go, Virgo. Pay attention. Okay? I see the number eight. Number eight represents prosperity as well, Virgo. I see the number eight is again. Okay, we got number eight. Eight. Positive movement for Virgo. Positive movement forward. I'm hearing safe passage. Okay? safe passage so i feel like for a lot of virgos there's going to be a safe passage into the new year there's going to be some safe passages it's like the door is open for a romance to begin here okay there's also um the doors the door is also open for just positive movements in your life at this time positive movements going forward at this time you're being protected by a powerful luminous warrior and a gifted shaman who's watching and protecting over you virgo they are leading the way. They're clearing the path. They have cleared the path for you to proceed forward. Archangel Michael, can I get more messages? Can I get more messages? Yes. Whew. We got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's a very emotional Virgo here. You know, Pisces being the opposite of Virgo, you can naturally draw from that emotionality of the Pisces Virgo. Okay. But we do see the King of Cups here. Prosperity begins on some sort of some sort of love connection, okay, Virgo? Now, if you know you're single, you're not looking for love, that's the best time to find it. When you're just minding your business, you're just working, you're taking care of your family, you're just living your life. That's the best time to find love because you're not looking for it, okay? You're not you're not operating in a desperate, I need to find him energy or I need to find her energy. That's exactly when you find love, okay? It's also giving me the vibes of someone that has a lot of love for you already, Virgo, okay? This person may not have spoken about it, or they not be they may not be openly speaking about how they feel for you. There's someone in your energy that is not really openly expressing to you how they feel on the physical realm, but on the spiritual realm, this person is talking to you, they're communicating with you. Okay? I'm here and leave the door open. Okay. This person may be a Leo. Okay, we got the strength card. Leo energy. Wow, this is a strong ass connection. Virgo, I'm here in Libra. Some of you, this is a Libra that you have this powerful connection with. Oh, I'm hearing this written in the stars. There's a lot of messages, Virgo. So if I see them all over the place, it's just simply because there's a lot of messages coming in. Okay. There's a lot of messages coming in. Wow. Someone has a lot of love for you. They have a strong, strong attachment to you. Now, Virgo, you know, I could speak about the person that comes up in every reading for you. And this may be him. It may be her. This person is still withholding how they feel for you physically. Okay. On the on in, in the third D, in the three D, in the in the reality we live in, this person hasn't came to you and expressed how they really feel. Okay? But they got a strong attachment, a strong love for you, and a strong desire to move forward with you, Virgo. Man, they see you as a queen. You Virgo, you are someone that may have uh, tamed someone. You may have tamed someone that was deemed untamable. Okay, this person may have had a reputation for being a player, a cheater, somebody that can never settle down or get really serious. Or this person was never really serious with anyone before they met you. But you have certainly tamed the beast. Okay? He looks at you lovingly. He looks at you adoringly. She looks at you kindly. She has a lot of love for you. Okay? I'm hearing Jupiter. So this may be a Sagittarius. Go see where Jupiter is in your chart. Yes, you may have Jupiter and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may have Jupiter and Leo. You may also have uh, Scorpio, Jupiter. I'm definitely in Scorpio, Jupiter, Virgo. Also, Aquarius, Jupiter. But go see what Jupiter is in your chart. Okay? Now, this person... <laughs> you guys are beautiful together, Virgo. This may be your twin flame here because I'm picking up on his energy, her energy. This may be a twin flame. This also could be um, a soulmate. Okay? But your your twin flame is also the highest level soulmate you're going to get. Look, we got the Knight of Swords. He wants to come in. She wants to come in. This person may be holding themselves back because they feel like you're not ready or there's some aspect of them that is not ready yet. Okay, that doesn't mean they don't want to come in with the Knight of Swords. That's somebody that wants to come in very fast, very aggressively. But they may be, with the King of Cups, he may be withholding from coming in real fast, real aggressively. You are a Virgo, okay? You can't rush the Virgin. Because if you rush a Virgo like this, you're going to scare them off. Okay, this person may know that. So they may want to rush in. They may have a lot of feelings of rushing in and coming to be with you. But at the same time, they have to let the Virgin open up. Okay, give the Virgin time to... 
you know, don't just swarm Virgo because Virgo may leave you or may or may not take you seriously. So this person is strategizing Virgo. Okay, your twin flame, your soulmate, they are strategizing here. Okay. But all their instincts wants to rush in, okay? To all everything in them, their primal instincts, their desires, their love, okay? They want to be with you. They want to they want to rush in, but they know that this is Virgo. You can't do that with Virgo. We got the Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy again. Yeah, it's almost like this person is holding themselves back, okay? Lord, how long do I have to wait? How long, how long, how long before I can proceed forward? There's a lot of birds here, okay? Virgo, there is a lot of birds. Pay attention. You may be getting... Whoop, did you did you hear that, Virgo? My candle just broke. Okay, that scared me. There's a lot of birds, so that's certainly an indication you need to pay attention because there's communication coming in. Yes, there is communication coming in. So, yeah, pay attention. This person may call you from unknown numbers. They You may answer the phone, Virgo. They may not speak, okay? They may just need to hear your voice. This person may actually have someone else call you, okay? I, the, with the birds here, just pay attention as well. Pay attention to the birds, quite literally. When you hear the birds in the morning, just pay attention because that's a message. That's a simple, that's a clarification for you that, yes, this message is right for you, Virgo. Your twin flame, your soulmate wants to communicate with you, okay? He wants to talk to you. She wants to talk to you. This person may be a Gemini. I feel like, like, whew, this person wants to get down on bended knee. I'm hearing that song by Boys to, Boys to Men. I'm down on bended knee. Okay, look, he's on his knees, Virgo. She's on her knees, but I feel like this is a male energy Virgo woman, okay? This person is going to propose. They want to propose. I feel like you got them right where you want them in terms of their heart, their soul, their mind, their body, their spirit. You got them, Virgo. You got them. But I feel like this person is, with, especially oh, with the nine of wands, they may be they may be going through some stuff at, in their own life, okay, Virgo? But I feel like this is just them. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing this is this, this is just them catering to your every need they're going to cater to your every need this person wants to cater to your every need okay i'm hearing that song i want to cater to you because baby this is your day do anything for my man baby you blow me away okay so you blow this person away virgo okay mm. may i help you how can i help you this this you may be the first person in the history for this person to have them feeling like this virgo well they actually want to be so worthy of you okay they feel like they're not good enough or they're not worthy enough. Or how can they, they may be asking God, how can I be more worthy of this person? Okay, what do I do to be more worthy? Okay, Virgo, this is very sweet energy. Very sweet. We got the herm, we got the musician, okay? This person may be a Gemini. I picked up on Gemini energy. It may be another Virgo. We got the Knight of Wands. This person has certainly been on a spiritual journey. They've had to learn that, hey, it ain't all about the sex, okay? It's not all about the sex, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, you may have been the person, you may have been the catalyst to teach this person that, you know, you didn't chase them, you didn't run after them, you don't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't sweat them, okay? The virgin only chases two things, her money, okay? Her money, her money, and her money, okay? That's it. So by you not chasing them, okay, or they may have pursued you for sexual reasons and you may have turned them down because, Virgo, you may have told this person that you want more, okay? Or this person had a, a, a sexual connection with you, Virgo. And it blew them away. Now they want to take the relationship further. They want to go deeper. Or at the very least, at the very least, they want some more sex, Virgo. They never can have Virgo one time. You got to be out of your mind if you think you're going to get the virgin one time and not want her again or not want him again because you're going to crave the virgin. Okay, you're going to crave her. You're going to want him again. Okay, Virgo, this person certainly has been on some sort of spiritual quest. And I feel like a lot of it is sexually, Okay. What do you see yourself when you're 60, 66 years old, 77 years old? It's not going to be about the sex at that age. It may be for some of you guys. For some of us, it may be, okay? For If you go, if you know what I mean, Virgo. But at the end of the day, at 66, 67, 70 years old, 80 years old, it's about that connection that you have with that person, that long-standing love that you've always had for that person. And you was the catalyst to sit into this person's life to show them that. That's what it's about at the end of the day. Longevity. The long term. Look, we got the King of Wands. Ooh, we got the King of Wands. Aquarius, this happened in my Aquarius reading where this, this thing got stuck to my shirt, Virgo. So this is what's happening. This may be an Aquarius Virgo situation here. 
this connection is gonna come together. You guys are still stuck on each other. Okay, you still you still love each other. You haven't given up the love that you have for him, Virgo. He hasn't given up the love that he has for you. She will always love you. He will always love you. Wow, there's there's something going on um, with the ancestors here, and also the higher selves. Your higher self, his higher self, her higher self, Virgo. You guys are communicating most certainly. The sacral chakra is very, very activated between both of you at this time. There's a lot of sexual energy. There's always sexual energy in the connection of twin flames. It's organic. It's natural. Okay. It's powerful as hell. Okay. Virgo, your person is very, very handsome. She's very, very beautiful. He may be an Aquarius. Okay. He may be a Sagittarius. She may be a Libra. Okay. She may be, uh, yeah, I'm definitely here in Aquarius. Leo, she may be a... <laughs> Uh, Aries, okay? This person, uh, yeah, he may be a Gemini, okay, Virgo? These are some of the signs that I see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. These person certainly has Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart. No doubt. There's an emotionality to this person, okay? They may be more emotional than you, Virgo. But he's very handsome. She's very beautiful here. Very, very aggressive. Stand out. This person stands out. A lot of people know him. A lot of people know of her. A lot of people want his attention. A lot of people want her attention, Okay? But you have captivated his mind, you have captivated her heart, you have captivated his soul, you have captivated her spirit, Virgo. You tamed someone that they said couldn't be tamed. You've captivated someone that they said couldn't be captivated, okay? He's used to getting what he wants. She's used to getting what she wants. They couldn't have it their way with Virgo, though. Mm -mm. This person may be an Aries. We got the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This person is like, <laughs> I'm at your service, okay? What do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? What do you want to do? How, how can I please you? How can I how can I make you feel good today? This is somebody that's going to take care of your heart, Virgo. Okay, Archangel Michael. Yes, we got a master. <laughs> Woo. I mean, I could take this so many different ways, but I think this person had a master. They had a master aspect of themselves. And specifically, I'm hearing their sexual nature. Okay, they're, they're, they had, and I'm, I'm also hearing they're a, they're a sex god. Okay, they're a master in the bedroom. But they had to master that that lustful side that always wanted to seek sexual partners and multiple partners, okay? Virgo, this is something they have to master, okay? You got to get that thing under control, Virgo's person, if you're watching the reading, okay? Everybody, it's not for everybody, okay? This person had to go through some challenges or changes regarding their sexual behavior, Virgo. And I'm also hearing they're a master for love or they're good in bed, Virgo. They're good in the bedroom, Oh, mm, you may be 33 years old, Virgo. This person had to choose wisely. The cars don't lie, Virgo. This person, and look at the birds. There's so many birds in your reading. Pay attention to the birds. Literally, when you hear the birds, that's a symbol for you that this message is for you and your twin flame is wanting to communicate with you. But also the birds represent some sort of communication. Pay attention to all forms of communication, television, music. Okay, this person is trying to communicate with you. This person had to learn, Virgo. They had to go through some lessons in terms of their sexuality and the way that they, you know, behave sexually, okay? This person may have been sexually reckless at some point in their life, and they may have paid a price for that, okay? Or at the very least, you may have been sent in. You may have been sent in just in time to save this person from a sexual disaster, Virgo, okay? They had to learn to choose wisely, don't open themselves up to everybody sexually, Virgo. This is what they had to master. This is what they need to master here. Control their damn self here, okay? Control it. And they and they had to choose that. And, you know, by meeting Virgo, you know, Virgo is top shelf quality. So they had to, you know, they, they had to know that they were choosing some lower lower shelf type of stuff here, Virgo. Even if they were dealing, even even if they were de dealing with someone that was more prettier than you, they had more finances with than you, Virgo. They were dealing with people that were more on a lower frequency than you. Okay, this is what they had to master. We got partnerships and alliance. Take my hand, Virgo. This person will never let you fall. They don't want to see you fall because you've given so much to make sure that they don't fall. Okay. They may not have expressed to you how they feel for you or, or their gratitude for you, Virgo, but they do. They have a lot of they have a lot of respect for you. Because if it wasn't for you, Virgo, this person would still be sleeping from bed to bed, day to day, okay? You help change them in a lot of ways that they have never expressed to you. And so, you know what? They want to make sure that you don't fall because you helped them when they were when they were down. They may not have never showed you this or even spoke of this, but it's here. Archangel Michael, can I get some more messages? 
Can I get more messages for the beautiful virgin? Healing begins. Yeah, there's something transpired within this person on a sexual level. Perhaps they were molested as a child. Okay, they, 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 they were promiscuous as a teenager. They started exploring their sexuality at a young age. Okay, they may sleep around. They may have slept around their whole life. They may be married, but they may be cheating on their partner. There's a lot of healing that this person is undergoing or they had to undergo or they need to undergo. Virgo, you were the catalyst for this person. Okay. Can I get more messages? You were the catalyst for this person. You were like that guardian angel that God sent in. You know, God sent, God put you in this person's life. Now, you may be saying, well, I never dated him. I never dated her. But if this is your twin flame, you already know the story. Okay. And I feel for some of you, this is your twin flame. For some of you, this is your soulmate. Okay. Be patient. Okay. You taught this person that. The virgin will teach anybody that. They say when you meet a Virgo, it's because there are some things that you need to learn. Because Virgos will help you in terms of your career, your patience, your progress in life. Okay? Virgo, you were sent to teach this person patience. Okay? Calm down. Plan this thing out. See this thing, see this thing through. This is what Virgo teaches you. Okay? Virgo will teach you that. Wow. Don't be so emotionally unhinged. I'm hearing <laughs> We got intuition. You taught this person or you have been the catalyst to help this person to listen to their intuition. Perhaps they never did, Virgo. Look at you. Look at all the work that you have done. And you don't even know that you have done. But this person knows it. And they got so much love and gratitude for you. They're on their knees, Virgo. Okay? I'm down on bended knees. You taught me to be patient, Virgo. You taught me to be patient. You taught me to listen to my intuition. Pay attention to my surroundings. You taught me to listen and choose better partners. You taught me to check and, and really, really analyze the partners that I have, okay? These are some messages that your person want you to know that you have taught them. Virgo, wow, some beautiful, beautiful messages. I love this reading. It's so pretty and peaceful, okay? Don't be scared, Virgo. Let me kiss you anywhere and everywhere, okay? This is somebody that has mastered their art of sex, Virgo, and they don't want you to be scared. This is where they come in at, on the sexual level, okay? They're going to open you up and loosen you up, Virgo. They don't want you to be scared, honey, okay? Wow, they don't want you to be scared. We got the color yellow. The color yellow. Yeah, this is somebody that's aggressive, okay? you. Yes, yes. The this is somebody that's always been aggressive. No one's ever been able to... No one's been able to actually penetrate okay the soul of this person quite like you they may have thought they've been in love they may have thought they found their true love no way jose they had to meet the virgin okay <laughs> they're proud of you virgo they're proud of you they're proud of you if they never say it this person may be 27 virgo you may be 27 years old it's hard to face you because of my guilt for some of you they're staying away or you haven't heard from them because they feel guilty you gave them the shirt off their back, off your back, and they gave you their ass to kiss, okay? They wasn't ready, Virgo, okay? Judging by the sounds you're making, you want it and you need it right now. This person is going to understand you on a sexual level. You're not going to have to say anything, Virgo. They're going to master you in the bedroom, but <laughs> this person needs to know, hey, Virgo's going to master them, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this is what has happened here, <laughs> okay? You put it on them, Virgo, okay? He says, I want to rub your feet and give you a long, nice back massage, Virgo. That is beautiful. This is somebody that's caring, especially with the King of Cups. He is very, very nurturing and very, very affectionate. With the King of Wands, okay, he bringing that heat with that one, Virgo woman. Okay, we got the King of Wands and we got the Knight of Wands. He's sexually okay, Virgo. You're not going to have to worry about him being not able to get it up or sexual incompetence, okay? His, his sexual member knows how to get there okay it knows how to rise to the occasion virgo it knows how to please you okay he's a master for lover remember that this person may masturbate a lot to your pictures too and this person may do a lot of sexual work on you in the background too virgo okay i can't believe i dropped the ball okay ever since my life has been okay virgo they know they messed up and they paying the price this may have been a leo this may have been a leo your twin flame, your soulmate may be a Leo, okay? Leo energy, pretty strong. This person may be operating in their Leo energy very, 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 very aggressive right now. They may be seeking a lot of a lot of validation and a lot of attention from unnecessary people. This is why their angels are saying choose wisely. 
And also, Virgo, you've helped this person to start to see that they need to choose wisely. He's saying love brought us together. Okay, love brought us together. God knew you needed each other. God knew you guys needed each other. You balance him, he balances you. I feel like Virgo, you're the type of person, Virgo, you're going to fulfill every erotic fantasy that he has. Okay, this is why. Okay, you're going to make it happen for him on that sexual level in terms of his fantasies. Virgo says, what do you want, daddy? I got you, okay? Virgo is going to make it happen. Or mama, okay? Take it how it resonates. I want to take you on the kitchen floor. This person is very sexual, okay? They're very, very sexual. Maybe that's what you need, Virgo, okay? There's always a balance here. I miss you, okay? They miss you, Virgo. It's not all about sex. I miss you. I genuinely miss you. I miss our friendship. I miss looking at you, Virgo. Okay, this may be a Pisces. They may also be operating in their Pisces energy. Very, very emotional, okay? We got God sent me an angel, okay? I told you that you were God sent heavenly angel for this person. I feel like, I feel like you both were angels to each other. And I feel like your, your higher self, his higher self, her higher self, you guys are always communicating here. This person is like a guide to you, Virgo, like a bodyguard. They, they, they are not leaving your energy, honey. Whew. He says, I pay, you know, I mind my business, but I pay attention, okay? Yes, you have helped him pay attention. You have helped her pay attention, okay? I'm hearing this person may be going through some ascension signs. And bless you. They may be going through a spiritual awakening. You have helped this person go through a spiritual awakening. You've helped each other go through a spiritual awakening. There is no way in hell I can go on without you, Virgo. <laughs> it ain't going to be the same without you, baby. It ain't the same without you. Okay, wow, you are effort effortlessly beautiful with a twisted sense of humor. I love everything about you. I love your high love and emotion, Virgo. Virgo gonna bring it too now. Don't, don't underestimate the virgin. She's called a virgin, but there's absolutely nothing virginal about the Virgo, okay? Final messages. <laughs> Virgo, I love this reading. Virgo energy. Virgos are the masters as well. Yes. Virgo, you were, you were sent to help this person to keep their eyes open and always keep their grass cut because you know that the snakes are always lurking. But they may not have known that you were sent to teach them that. I love you, Virgo.